Hi, Cody from Go Hunt, your optics authority. I'm the glassing guru. Yeah, it's the name. I'll keep it. We're going to talk a little bit today about cleaning your optics. This kit that we sell here uh, at Go Hunt, it's a uh, anti-fog lens uh, field cleaning kit. Comes a little bit of solution. Comes with a uh, a, a little brush, and uh, it comes a little bit of a rag there, and then it comes with some dry papers. I'm just going to tell you guys, you got to clean your lenses once in a while. Having done this for you know, uh, the last 10 years, I've seen everything from bodily fluids, food, raisins, boogers, chew, gum, you name it, it's been on the lens. Um, you gotta clean your lenses once in a while. The off season is a great time to do it. I like to use a kit like this because it's got a little bit of everything. I will uh, simply do this. So generally speaking, I look at the lenses, I kind of take a condition of where they're at these, uh, these have been in the field a little bit. Um, they've also been at the shows with me. So what I like to do is basically at first, take the, uh, the brush side and, uh, and go ahead and swish that out and get all the loose stuff that I can. Um, I also use uh, a little bit of an air, uh, air to get stuff out of there too. You can use canned air, compressed air. Just be real careful that there's nothing coming out of that you know, the compressed air tubes because it can damage your lenses. These are real good just because it's soft air coming out. Um, so again, I just make sure that all the, the typical debris is out of there. These have got a little bit more uh, wear and tear on than usual. I'm pretty religious about cleaning my stuff, you know, just about every trip. The one thing I'm gonna tell you guys, the rags that they, they provide with this are good. Um, they're soft, they're non-abrasive, they're not gonna scratch your lenses. Please, for the love of God, don't use wool or don't use the gloves and the nylon and you know think that you're going to get your, your your glasses to unfog it's not going to happen you've got to keep your lenses free and I'll, I'll do another video later about how to keep your your lenses from fogging up generally speaking you let that sit on there a little bit you can go ahead and, and make circular motions take a look at them i try to look at them in the light make sure i've got everything that liquid's had a little bit of time to sit on there and break anything up that's been on there. Every once in a while, you'll get you know oils from your hands or even around your nose, your eyes. They'll get on the lenses and that can get a little stickier. That's why I like to use the liquids. Um, that generally works really good for the liquid. Um, at the time that, <clears throat> after I've kind of gone over these and they're, they're, uh, all the moisture's gone, I really like to, at that point, take some of the dry cloth and go ahead and get into the, the, the smaller, deeper spots in there and, and just make sure that I've gotten the whole lens. I chose the BTX today because it's got both a binocular side and a spotting scope side. So um, I would basically do the same thing. Um, the other thing I will do is make sure that there's no debris in the lens cap covers. And then go ahead and apply the lens caps and you're good to go. So on the spotting scope side of things, I'm gonna take the cover off. There's a few fingerprints on here. It's actually not too bad. When it's not too bad, I might just go ahead and, and try to see if I can get those to come off just with some, some light touching, making sure that it's not too bad. And I just kind of make a circular motion, never up and down sideways. Um, I know it's in a circle there, but I just really, really try to keep it always in a circular motion. And that's good to go. Put the lens cap back on. Again, make sure any debris that may have gotten in there, do that. Put you back up. And that'll get you going for the first next season. Uh, you know, it's the question comes up kind of often about spotting scopes. And, you know, most of these break apart in the middle. So um, I will absolutely tell you that one of the most important pieces of glass that you keep clean is, is these glasses or these pieces of glass that are on the the uh, inside of these um, two separate pieces, the eyepiece and the, and the modular. Almost never do you have fingerprints on these or you shouldn't. Um, I would check them if you've had your, your spotting scope in the dust or outside your pack or you know maybe it was a really windy hunt and um, I just would, would try to keep things clean and, and, uh, and to the best of your ability. And by looking at both of these, I wouldn't even touch these because they're, they're so clean. I'm pretty methodical about trying to keep those clean. Really, any spotting scope that you have um, will typically break apart at the eyepiece 
and it's that connection that that where this con you know where this connects is just a super super important uh, piece of glass to keep clean. So um, it's just you know really simple. Uh, break them apart. You can put them back together. Done and there you go. So uh, now that we've completed that whole process, guys, this is a really easy system. Um, it's very simple to do. I'm a little bit more anal retentive about getting this stuff done. I do it typically after every trip. I just like clean glass and, and, and uh, anything to, to help us uh, find game more efficiently. This kit can be used anytime. Um, it's great for field use. It's great for, for at home. Uh, you can carry it with you in your backpack. Um, not a big deal at all. Subscribe to our YouTube page. Uh, you can ask questions there. Um, again, uh, Cody at uh, Go Hunt, your optics authority. And uh, yes, the glassing guru.